Hello everyone and welcome back to Dulce Bakery. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to decorate a Valentine's Day candy box cookie. To begin with this tutorial we're going to start by decorating the heart shaped cookies and for this one I'm using a blue color in a flat consistency royal icing and a number 3 tip. Once you have floated the cookie, you can use the scribe tool to evenly distribute the icing. Next, we're going to continue decorating this cookie using the wet on wet technique and for that you're going to need pink flat consistency royal icing and a number 2 or a number 3 tip and while the icing is still wet, you're going to start piping dots on the edge of the cookie. Now while the icing is still wet, you're going to use your scribe tool and you're going to drag it in between the dots connecting them and as you can see, this is the way to form the hearts. Before continuing decorating this cookie, you have to allow it to dry for at least 4 to 6 hours. Once the icing is completely dry, now we can pipe a bead border using Stiff Consistency Royal Icing and a number 3 tip. Repeat the process, this time using pink royal icing. I'm always getting questions about which uh, colors of food coloring I like to use on my royal icing because they look so vibrant. I honestly always use Wilton colors and I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description of the video as well as on my webpage which is www.dulcebakery.com where you can find the full list of supplies that I'm using in this tutorial. For the candy box, we're going to use four cookies. The first one is going to be the base and this one is going to have to be an entire heart shaped cookie and the next three have to be um, the heart shaped cookie but with a hole in the center. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description of the video as well as on my webpage where you can find the cookie cutters that I use to make these cookies. Now we're gonna use um, some of that royal icing. It doesn't have to be a specific consistency. You're just gonna need it to glue the cookies that have the hole in the middle. Once you have glued them one on top of the other, you're gonna let them rest for about 30 minutes just to make sure they are completely adhered to each other. Thank you. 
For this part of the tutorial, we're gonna use the isomold technique, which is this clear liquid that I'm pouring into the cookie. If you don't know how to use it or how to prepare it, I'm linking the video up here of the tutorial where you can check it out and see the other fun ways to use this isomold. I frequently get questions about the bubbles in the isomalt and this is something that you really don't have to worry about because as the isomalt is drying they will eventually disappear but if it's something that worries you you can always use this scribe tool and drag them to the edge of the cookie as I'm showing you or you can just pop them out. Once the isomalt has completely dry, which takes about 5 to 10 minutes, sometimes not even, it always depends on the temperature of the room that you're working. If it's really humid, it's gonna take longer, but the cookie has to look like this. If the isomalt is not completely clear or if it has crystallization, that means that something must have gone wrong during the process, so I strongly recommend you to just go back to that video that I told you, check the step by step and just don't give up because this technique can be quite tricky and sometimes difficult. Next we're gonna outline and fill the heart using the pink flat consistency realizing and a number 3 tip. To decorate the candy box, I'm gonna use some glitter and I'm gonna put it onto a plate. I'm gonna spread it out. And this one is from my friends at Bakery Bling. Remember, you can always find the links in the description of the video. Now grab the candy box and with that royal icing that you have left from the cookies, you're just gonna add some of it on the sides of the box and then use a spatula to spread it evenly. Next, just roll the candy box into the glitter. Once the candy box is completely glitter, you can let it dry for about 30 minutes. Now I'm using some silver edible powder mixed with a few drops of clear vanilla extract to paint the side of this cookie. And to finish up with this candy box cookie, I'm just gonna fill it with sprinkles. You can use any ones you want. I have this box from different stores. I'm gonna leave the link uh, down below in the description of the video of each store. And I'm also gonna add some chocolates from Hershey's.
Once you have filled this box with any candy of your choice, you can just put on top the other cookie that you decorated and let them know that the box is open for them to enjoy the candy. Or the other way, which is my favorite, is to adhere the cookie using some royalizing and let them figure out how to open it. Okay, I'm gonna help you with this one. You can use a butter knife and just slide the top, which is the first cookie, very carefully. I promise it's not gonna break and you're gonna be able to enjoy both the cookies and the candy. And that's it, your cookies are ready to enjoy. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media where you will find more decorating inspiration. Happy Valentine's Day and see you next time.